My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. John verse 10 to 27. Gospel of the day. Luke verse 11, 42 to 46. But who to you Pharisees, for you did men and rule and every herd, and neglect justice and the love of God. This you owe to have done without neglecting the others. Who to you Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogue and salutation in the marketplace? Who to you, for you are like graves which are not seen, and men walk over them without knowing it? One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, in saying this, you reproach us also. And he said, Who to you lawyers also, for you load men with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers? Reflection As Jesus firmly corrected the Pharisees, a low scholar, feeling his conscience still, challenged him without hesitation. Jesus addressed the scholar's own burdensome use of the law. These interactions teaches us to head our concerns and to resist defensiveness when it is break. Consider what has recently made you defensive. It may signal an encounter with personal sin you're reluctant to acknowledge. Imagine if the scholar had embraced Jesus' critic, recognizing his own faults. Such humility can spark transformation. When corrected, especially out of love, see it as divine nodes towards chains. Embrace a break conscience as a blessing, an opportunity for growth in virtue rather than a cause for offense. My challenging Lord, you are constantly speaking to me in various ways. Sometimes you are gently and at other times you lovingly rebuke me. Please help me to see my sin, as I do. I pray that I will not become defensive or dismissive, rationalizing my erroneous actions. May I learn to rejoice in all that you say to me, especially when you speak your rebuke of love. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.